Hello, welcome to Rock Reacts. My name is Simon Miller. This man right here is... I'm John Denton. Right, it's another guy I've never heard of. Lupe Fiasco, which to me sounds like some kind of cartoon, Spanish cartoon that I'd be watching if I was in Spain having mm -hmm. a holiday. Little mouse yeah. running around. And be yeah. like, oh, it's Lupe Fiasco. Yeah. Probably insulting right there, but you know, I didn't mean it. A song called Muriel. 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 Yep. Uh, so I Lupe is. Fiasco is an artist that I'm reasonably familiar with. I don't know if I've heard this song or not because I don't know which album it's on. I first heard Lupe with Kick Push, which is a, a song ages ago about skateboarding. Uh, may have heard it. It became quite a big hit in the UK. Maybe. Uh, and then he's had a, a few other tracks that have kind of made it onto radio over here. Uh, people class him as uh, one of the best lyricists around, but he hasn't quite got the recognition of the the Coles and Kendricks. Right. Uh, stuff like that. So uh, we had a lot of requests over time to do this one. It is a long song. We've got the lyrics up. Uh, and people say this is, you know, one to, to really dig into. So we're going to get our concentration hats on. I mean, I've always got a hat on, but this I one's... I wear hats, but I wear yeah. a metaphorical one. Yep. Um, and we're, we're going to dig in. So, yeah, welcome Lupe to, to the channel. Like I say, I may have heard this before if it was on one of the records that I've heard. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If I've heard it, I've heard it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chemicals, vitamins and minerals and Vicodin with inner tubes wrapped around the arm. To see the vein like a chicken on the barn. Top cat chat, let's begin another yawn. So what powers cowards to get them to the top? Just to fall asleep, listening to Bach. The ribbon in the sky is the ribbon that I drop. Dribbling the eye across the prism of a clock. Now what's the coffin with a scratch ceiling? And what's the talking without the match feeling? It's berry living and cherry picking every lemon from their berry system Then proceed with the pack feeding Apologize for my weird mix What tastes like hot dogs and tear drips And looks like pantomime and clear bricks And smells like shotguns and deer piss So apologize for my weird mix What tastes like hot dogs and tear drips And looks like pantomime and clear bricks it smells like shotguns and deer piss. I mean, I'm not really getting a lot of it. I'm trying. That's why I really, if you watch me back, I'm kind of just trying to read and take in as much as possible. I don't really know what he's going on about. I don't mind the mix so much. The kind of beat's kind of good, and I like his flow, but I have no idea what he's talking about whatsoever. This is going to be one of those ones where, yeah, a lot of metaphor, right? So what tastes like hot dogs and tear drips? Is that because he's being salty? I don't know. I don't know. We could genius it, it all, but we'll be here for four and a half hours. Yeah, it's eight, eight, eight minutes, 50 seconds. Long. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's one of those things where... And we said this before, I don't think there's a bad thing about it, but I just don't think songs like this work, not work well, the reaction formats, I think any reaction is good, right? Yeah. But in terms of what people who know the song want us to take away yeah, from it, impossible. Because you've listened to it a thousand times, right? And you understand what he's going on about. Whereas we're sitting here, I mean, more so for me than John, I'm trying to get, understand who this guy is for the first time, never heard him before. But ultimately, I've got no idea. Yeah. And the lyrics are deliberately obtuse. They are. So... How can I react to it? What am I reacting to? I'm reacting to almost I haven't caught. Page. I haven't caught a thread of what he's talking yeah, yeah. about yet, and that's the problem. When we did the J. Cole, If Your Eyes Only track, we did have the lyrics up on that as well, but it was reasonably easy to catch what he was talking about. And once we had the yeah. thread, then you could start deciphering individual lyrics, but we haven't got the thread of this one yet, so... No. Uh, and do you know what? I'm going to fucking genius the thread. I'm going to genius the thread because we've got a long way to go, and I'd rather at least have an idea of if this is about something specific or if this is just rambling. There you go. We're going to do that right now. Yeah. And then we're magic in a jump cut. So, so we just looked up the thing and it seems like it's supposed to be kind of an avant-garde. Yeah. Like painting images in your mind. So I'm going to allow it to try and I'm not going to try and decipher it too much now. Yeah. Just I'm going to let, it, I'm gonna let it paint pictures in my mind. All right. I'll do the same. At the moment I don't get it though. No point pretending otherwise. This may be, like you say, this may be a case where people have gone, go straight to the... And we need to build it. People did it with Kendrick because yeah. we went straight to yeah, Sing yeah. About Me, Dying of Thirst, which wasn't. It was great, but like we, if we'd done to that now, I think after some. We'd appreciate yeah. it more. You think sometimes you do have to educate your brain with this kind of stuff, yeah. or, or listen to someone on their less dominating track, so you can actually understand yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Feel you, you can't, going straight to the magnum opus isn't always the, exactly, the best not, idea. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't. You, you don't. Especially because I bet all his songs aren't nine minutes long. Yeah. And he's probably done this because people have got a familiar 
with him beforehand mm. they were just throwing themselves out of the deep end yeah. which I feel like what we've done here that are throwing pods one minute you playing pool next minute you throwing dogs but that's how you do with a party that you throwing bars I run the gambit like I'm throwing cards word game back up playing that can damn licks back up the word playing playing that the man states means I can still be the man if the damn bricks and the unfettered veteran the eagle feathered man of medicine that hovers above cities like weather men that may be weather woman whatever better to tell you whether coming I prefer girls to rain all over the world and not rain like rain man. The, the level of wordplay here is just completely ridiculous uh, is it yeah I, I'm lost on it I don't I don't I, I don't know this is I don't ah. the unfettered veteran the eagle feathered man of medicine that hovers above cities like a weatherman and maybe weather woman whatever better to tell you weather's coming I prefer girls to rain all over the world and not rain like yeah, it's just yeah, it just the way I just love the fact he's just got double entendre over double entendre over double entendre. Do you know what they mean? I don't know what it means. Like, who, who was the eagle feathered man of medicine? I uh, just the the uh, the fact that the cities were um, previously owned by well, not owned the land was previously owned by Native Americans. Right. So it hovers above cities like weathermen and maybe weather women. Because I guess a weatherman hovers above the city on the map when he's standing in front what's of the, the screen. What's the connection? I don't. What's, I don't. Uh, well, they don't get what the weather is a semblance of. I'm taking it as just how it is feels to the. I'm taking it how it feels to live in America, knowing that you that there's always this history there that's never really maybe, considered. Maybe. That's not to this. I'm jet lagged. Jet lagged. Um, this is probably not the song to do for a jet lag man, <laughs> but we didn't know. I'd, I'd, I'd need to listen to it a few times, I think. I, it's not really clicking with my brain at the moment. It's probably more on me than the song. It's a difficult one. Yeah. It's a difficult one. Rain like deer slaves, Santa Claus, slave man. With rain like queens that rain over May man. And not queen like queen killer, rap city bohemian queen. But queen like white glove, wave hat. Man, and not hate for horses and horses like you. Almost voiceless, you gotta treat your vocal cords like it's a fortress and treat every single one of your words like reinforcements. And especially when you're recording, cause that's the portion that's important. When I was reporting that I was poor, fan out like peacocks with a parakeet that beatbox. So the sun rises when the beat drop and the sun dies when the beat stops. Then it unties, then it relaxes, then it relapses, then it detox. Then forge poetry like a young honorary Morrissey, then spit it to the golden lock. Thoughts you like they porridge on watery, not scorching or sore, but even the steel orbiting saucer rocks. It's, it's another attack on me. I, just... I mean, this is an absolute attack. So, there's so much in the. Forge poetry like a young honorary Morrissey. The spirit of the golden locks thoughts. That's that thoughts yeah, word again. Golden right? locks so thoughts. So like Goldilocks. Yeah, the golden locks thoughts. You like their porridge. Or watery. Or watery, I guess, meaning cum. Right. <sighs> not scorching, not sorbet from the still orbiting sorcerer sorcery. I just, I, maybe I'm too tired. Some maybe of it's fun. I think some set. of it's just him having fun with the way yeah. words sound and rhyme. And it doesn't necessarily need to mean anything. And I just think if you're going to do something like this, I need. You know, I do. Even if it's even if, if people don't agree with me, I need something else than just good lyricism. Um, I don't mind if I don't understand the lyricism before, but I need something to grab me. I agree. And I've just got repetitive piano yeah. and a guy, admittedly, who's very good at what he does. Yeah. But outside of that, there's nothing to really allow me to enjoy it. That's what I mean. So I don't understand the lyrics because it's a reaction yeah. video, first time I've heard it. I don't think the beat is necessary, but his flow is fine. So what am I holding on to now? Like, what's getting me through the song? I, I, think, don't know. I think what's happened here is we've gone into his art piece. This yes. is his, yeah. It's called Mural, right? And this we, is we Master read of the Puppets. thing. But even even that is much more of a tune than this. He's decided to create an art with his yeah. his paintbrush, his tool is his ability to be lyrical yeah. and to, to you know create in this art form they call rap. Like there's you know the folding of the the words and and that's what this is. This is all about that and all about rhyming and finding how many different ways can I rhyme and play yeah. with each word that I find. And I'm going to do that for so long. Over a sort of, like I think there's a classical music sample or whatever. Maybe yeah, it is Bach because he mentioned it at the beginning. And to create that mural, this effect and imagery, and nothing you say is incorrect. Nothing you say is unfair. You're completely right, and that's this is. I mean, it's, this is like it's just not the right song to do in this 
capacity. In his wrong context, yeah. But then again, a reaction is a reaction is a reaction. Yeah, and hopefully we can do this. We can get advice on something that's a little less intense. Yeah, and then well, you we listen can to Kick up... Push and it's a pop song. It's it's a pop rap song about skateboarding. Well, there you go, right? And then maybe we can work our way back to more pieces like this and actually have the the context and the foresight to understand what he's going on about. At the moment, it's just lost on me entirely. I think that's more me than him. But it's difficult to react to All something I'm doing when your brain is like, yeah. I can't process it. All I'm trying to do with it now is just enjoying the way he's finding yeah. rhymes and, and yeah, not even really trying to work out what it means yeah. because I think I'll drive myself crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm enjoying rhymes and punchlines at the moment that's and double entendres. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, Jet Lag Man, uh, nine minute art piece song maybe not the uh, best combo Difficult. maybe not his best combo ammunition for abolition missions attacking systems but they not have to listen unless it's dropping no activision are we apps or are we bodies filled with apparitions operating applications stuck inside an apple prison chicken hacking See, that was amazing. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, that, was amazing. that was amazing that that yeah and that one is is more on the nose I think the other ones as well so you, that's one of those ones that I'm devastated I didn't write it myself. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, someone put that on paper and it yeah. wasn't me. I Not mean, that I've ever written anything like that in my life. I know what you mean though. That yeah, that one I got like it was more obvious. I think to just yeah. my are we apps or are we bodies filled with apparitions operating applications stuck inside an apple prison? That's yes, yeah, so that's an amazing verse. I mean, there's no two ways about it. Then saw you painting this loyal change news preoccupied with boy and goyal chasing and foiling others royal saintings. I sit back and watch the world through eye holes in my oil paintings. And I feel like a missionary to a clitoris, the water bearer, air of traditions that I swear to never change my chair position or conditions of my porridge. Submission for sedition against the religion of a chorus. I prefer my pictures in word form. Bury the hatchet like how a bird born. So this OJ the juice man meets OJ with two hands and two gloves. That's too snug, too judge, who was who. Drew blood and yeah, that, all these that one I got right because weirdly I'm into yeah. the OJ Simpson case and has an incredibly written verse but that's two out of six minutes and a half I get and it again that's on me I'm the one that needs to do the work but at the moment I can't it's too much for me to process and break down yeah Clearly, I think it is. I mean, it's far too much for either of us. It was why I've been, I'm allowing it to wash over me yeah, yeah, and just yeah. enjoying his ability. That's all I'm doing right now. And because of that, I'm enjoying a lot more than I was. Those two bits, we're yeah. going to call them, because I get them. I, I, it's an example and a, way, a window in into what he's capable of doing. Clearly, is amazing. Mm. But that's 15 seconds. And the rest of it has just been like someone hit me over the head with a spanner. Yeah. That's the problem. For me. For me. Not because of this. So the error, the error lies with me. But maybe that's the point. Maybe that's what he does. Maybe he just throws loads of stuff at you and you get it, you get it. When you don't get it, it's up to you. To maybe to this is out. why he hasn't got to the levels of yeah, the, the Coles and Kendrick's niche. because it's it's a bit too inaccessible, which maybe. is strange because like I say, I think we should do at some point um, the track I'm talking about because it's about as accessible a hip-hop track as you could ever hope yeah. to hear, which is crazy listening to this. But I feel like this is just something he, he's put in his album as something he wanted to do as an album piece. closure or something yeah, yeah, and, we're, yeah. and we've gone well you know we'll it's... start with this guy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear I think also I, because... I don't know why I started in and then started talking because I know him and know his music yeah. I'm giving him more of a benefit of the doubt yeah because you know this isn't just some like yeah. mistake yeah exactly in a cemetery full of tomahawks Giving middle fingers to the pigeons Doing somersaults Road runners don't fall off cliffs They run across Levitating youths who know the truth Of where the fountain hides Buckaroo roofs Painting tunnels on through the mountainsides A thousand parts of pound A heart an ounce of eyes Announcing out a doubt And mouth pronounces out a counts lie Animals and monsters Incinerated shoots In the manual for Contra <laughs> Assorted memories from my childhood <laughs> Absorbing energy from the wild woods Chicago, spread gun aficionado Efficient spitting bridging divisions Isn't Chicano mm. Who's the boss if it isn't Mr. Milano Sub-Zero guiding hide and right He likes video games he loves video He's games. a big, big yeah. video game fan And he's about to make a McDonald's reference too um, I think a lot of this is I'm going to throw it at you You get it great If you don't, go learn about yeah. it I think that's why it's quite difficult and in the pack as well, sound village, leaf village, wolf spirit, magic spells. Yeah. Zelda, right? Uh, dodging rain and catching hell. Uh, yeah. Face yeah. Faces need samurais to catch the L. Maybe harder irons and carbon fibers that never fail. Smarter science mixed with an art alliance, a fairy tale. Or maybe just a metal pail you hit with steel tools to announce you've had enough and dropping out of steel school. Just whenever it's quill moves over your mill you. Simple as a Buddhist monk in the temple standing in some hill grooves with the abbot practicing stillness. Real skill till you realize it's realness. Defeat Sam Sara achieves Nirvana and brilliance. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, I don't even know what to say about that. It was just eight and a half minutes of the this. I'm not in a bad way, but the same thing 
trying to decipher it and I got two, three maybe, three references. Oh, that's worn me out a bit. Well, that was pretty intense. I think during some of that, I look blurry. I yeah. was like, Brr. That was obviously extremely intense. I wasn't expecting that. No. I think, I think it explained my thoughts on it. I, yeah, you I, did, I, yeah. I, I will, long story short, for, what, for, for, for good or bad, for embarrassment or not, I'm going to learn to rap. That's something I decided to do in the last six months. And I'm going to study that a lot um, because I think that was, in terms of purely what's, what is possible with the English language, was unbelievable. And I'm going to sit there and, uh, and study that as, uh, as like something to spend weeks on studying. As a reaction channel to do this, as your Doesn't first work. days... Not really. But that's why it does work. That's why reactions yeah. are good because reactions yeah. happen and right and Yes, wrong, we right? could have stopped it every two seconds, gone on to Genius, clicked the thing, got the thing. A, the video would be four and a half weeks long. And two, and I B, don't think it'd be well, as, not, yeah, not what it's about. No. And no. He never. He didn't write that going, oh, Genius will help me out. Like, no. That's not what he intended. No, no, so. no. It's like, here's a puzzle, figure it out. And if yeah. you need to go to the cheat sheet, Genius, fine. Do it afterwards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The most important question is, when mm. you do your rap album, I get a verse on one of the songs, right? The many, wherever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that would drag your album down. Right, okay, fine. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's going to be good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, intense. I know some of you would be like, oh, that was a rubbish reaction. You're right, but a reaction is a reaction, and that's why it's good, and that's why mm -hmm. this stuff works. Uh, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment below. What did you think about it when you first heard it? Did you, is that how you stumbled across Lupe Fiasco? Because my word, crazy. Uh, loads of stuff down here, Twitter, Instagram. Come give us a follow, come say hello, and more importantly, thank you very much for watching.